Hey you guys, it's the Mabel to Maven, Jackie Monfrey, and I am coming to you on a beautiful May day. I am heading over to a home to talk to a contractor about a basement leak on a property that I'm marketing and my homeowner is out of state at the present time, so I, as their handy dandy personal real estate agent, I'm going to go by there and talk to the contractor and see what the scope of work is going to be, but kind of wanted to show you a little bit of Mableton there on my way. It is so pretty out here. You'd be, I mean, it's like beautiful. We have a lot of greenery, we have a lot of, you know, we have also bus system, as you can tell, here in Mableton, which is always good for people who want to get around. And I'm going to pan around here. I mean, I'm over here near the Publix Shopping Center, and I'm obviously here at the light, but uh, it's a beautiful day today. I mean, look at this. Look at the weather out here. Mableton is awesome. Um, but just wanted to uh, show you that real quick. I'm going to come back to you here in a little while with some of the work that's being done on that property. So you can have a little bit of insight into what is needed to get a home sold. You can't sell a house with a leaky basement. Mm -mm -mm -mm. One of the reasons why is because the basement, um, if it's leaking and you have systems that are down there, an appraiser is going to catch that and the house will not appraise. The house isn't appraised, the buyer cannot get a loan on the property, and the buyer can't get a loan on the property, in most cases they can't buy. So, we're going to go check this out and I'll be coming back right at you. Thanks for watching. Jackie See you soon. Murphy, the Mabel to Maven, and I'm back here and just met with the contractor for the property that I'm at today. And he did say that there is significant um, uh, water damage or water in the basement, which a lot of it has to do with the, uh, with the gutters. If your gutters are full on the property, your home is going to be inundated with water around its foundation, which can cause erosion, it can cause um, slippage, it can cause water coming into the foundation, into the basement and causing a whole host of problems. So it's something that if you're going to put your house on the market and you have a little bit of deferred maintenance to make sure you get that taken care of, make sure you have properly sized gutters on the home, properly sized downspouts, and you want to make sure that they are clean all the time. Now, what he just mentioned, he's over talking to the seller right now, but what he mentioned was that um, during a you know deluge, um, you can actually get up to 400, 500 gallons of water that's going to be hitting your roof. Um, and you want to make sure that your downspouts are clean and you make sure your gutters are clean so that it's able to carry that water away from the property. You want to make sure that the, that the downspouts um, do have sleeves on them so that they will go ahead and drain the water away from the foundation as far as possible. So just wanted to give you that quick tip. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.